Jesus. All right, well then. All right. One minute, guys. A minute away. Hi, here I am. You should like slide it right here or something like that. Right there. All right. Thanks, y'all. I'll go ahead and leave it on then. Here we go. Glad I got three minutes. B22, these guys, guys. B22 is happening. All right. B22 has died. All right, so we've already killed a script. Okay, B22 has died. It was a script that was called Attacks on Gay Clubs, and we detailed um, the attacks at gay bars or clubs in the last several years across the United States, but this script has died, but I went ahead and told you what was killed. Ten away, here we go. Okay, 30 seconds out. All right. We just got a new script printed for us. We're 10 seconds away. Well, the details are horrific. Bodies stacked on bodies, people shot and trampled by crowds. We have special coverage of the tragedy in Orlando. I'm John McKay. I'm Cynthia Seguira. The impact of the shooting is felt around the world. Law enforcement is stepping up security in most major cities, including extra patrols right here in Dallas. But first, we want to get to, to the weather coverage. We're going to go over to Colleen right now. So we have to have some storms right on top of us. Yes, John, it's been an active afternoon here across North Texas, so I want to bring you up to speed with Doppler Net. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning that includes calling Dallas and Rockwell counties until 615. So again, these storms are great rain producers, so it looks very nasty outside, but the main threats are going to be the rain and also the straight line winds around 55 to 65 miles per hour. This storm is moving up to the northeast. Folks in McKinney all the way down through Plano getting a lightning show right now. We have thousands of lightning strikes here in Collin County, and this is racing off to the northeast this afternoon. Cattle Mills, Greenville, you'll be in this just right about right now. Commerce, you're in about 610. Pecan Gap in at about 623. So again, this is affecting over 2 million people around the Dallas County area, also Rockwall, also into Collin County. So look at these lightning strikes, over 1,000 just around the colony, all the way through Plano, down through Richardson. So good, good rain producers. The great news is out of all this, not good hail producers because we are so warm today. So I'll talk more about that and when these rain chances let up in just a few minutes. All right, Colleen, thank you. And the act of terror brings flags to half staff tonight at the White House. In the last half hour, we recognized a national moment of silence for the victims and their loved ones. Just the first of many observances happening across the country and right here in North Texas. You can see another show of support at the Texas governor's mansion, where Governor Greg Abbott put up Florida state flag between the American flag and our Texas flag. Information continues to come in on the 29-year-old gunman. He is U.S.-born Omar Mateen. His father says that he was upset by seeing two men kissing. We'll have more on him in just a moment. Orlando city officials, they're posting the names of the dead as soon as their families have been notified. So far, there are seven names. You can go to WFA.com and click on the story, City of Orlando Begins Identifying Mass Shooting Victims. Right now, police are actively investigating three scenes. The Orlando Club Pulse, of course, where the shooting happened. The suspect's home, that's in Fort Pierce, Florida. And the suspect's father's home, just west of there in Fort St. Lucie. Now, the terror inside Pulse started around 2 this morning when the gunman opened fire. That led to a three-hour standoff with police. The fire department called the bomb squad at 3 in the morning, and then by 5 a.m., police stormed the club. For more on the siege and the suspect, we turn now to ABC's Marcy Gonzalez in Orlando. Okay, everybody doing okay? We are now in a package from ABC, a story detailing the nuts and bolts of what happened in Orlando, and then we're giving you um, breakout facts throughout that package. But right now we're listening to witnesses who were there inside of the nightclub. Oh, what a day. 
and then I'm going to get up and leave here in just a few, in the, about a minute or two, and I'm going to go do a story over here talking about the response on social media to this horror in Orlando. We're talking tens of thousands of posts on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So I'm just going to kind of give an idea of what people are saying and the thoughts and emotions behind what they're saying. <sighs> I've never done this. So if you have any questions, ask away. This is odd watching you on TV now and the five second delay on here and watching Cynthia. Yeah, I know it is. It's odd y'all being here too, but it's kind of neat. Thank you, Erica Brent. We love ya. We love you too. And Orlando police are showing what's left of an officer's Kevlar helmet hit during the exchange of gunfire that brought down the shooter. No question, this helmet saved a life. The world's largest church for the LGBTQ community is in Dallas at the Cathedral of Hope this morning. Service focused on what happened in Orlando. Channel 8's Monica Hernandez spoke to those who are praying for everyone impacted by this horror. Muslim community is holding a prayer service for victims and their families at the Baitul, Baitul Ikram. Huh? Okay. Baitul Ikram. So during the stories, John and I read ahead to scripts that we've already prepared and looked over, but you always want to read them just before as well in case any information has changed or if a, an executive producer has gone in and added more information. It's all about preparation. Got to be prepared. Oaklawn United Methodist Church also responded to the shooting saying, quote, our hearts are broken that yet again our nation is confronted with hate-borne actions which lead to the deaths and injuries of our neighbors. We are standing in solidarity with our sisters and brothers in the LGBTQ community. People are already starting to leave flowers outside the new resource center in Dallas. There will be a vigil there tonight at 8 o'clock. Mayor Mike Rawlings will be among those speaking. And also at 8, the Muslim community is holding a prayer service for victims and their families at the Baitul Ikram Mosque in Allen. Meantime, a lot of outrage over a social media post sent out by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's account this morning. The Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings released this statement today. This act of terrorism, the mayor said, is a tragic illustration of the legitimate safety fear that those in our LGBT community live with every day. That's why our LGBT brothers and sisters need more than our prayers right now. It goes on to say, I have spoken with Chief Brown and he assures me the Dallas Police Department will be boosting manpower in our entertainment districts, including Oakland tonight. The mayor will be among the speakers at tonight's memorial at the Resource Center.
Tonight, the Orlando Sentinel says blood banks are at capacity thanks to so many donors. Blood is already being sent from Texas, too, according to Carter Blood Care. And we've seen lines all day in Florida where people lined up to give. With 53 patients in the hospital, many critical, there is a tremendous need. Blood banks are now asking folks to wait a few days and then come and donate. However, many gay and bisexual men are not being allowed to give tonight. There's a federal ban barring men who have sex with men to give blood unless they abstain from sex for one year. And the Orlando attack has heightened concern and security at several Dallas LGBT nightclubs. This is David Goins live tonight in Oakland with an update from there. David, what do you have for us? Hey, Jennifer. All right. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the Dan Patrick thing, I mean, if, if, we're, if we didn't say who what happened, we probably shouldn't even have mentioned it. I mean, because all we said is that there was an outrageous, see what I'm saying? 333. All right, he will text, and John will see you on the 7th. So I'm about to go do a live tag board. I'm going to leave you here for a minute. Oh, 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 this is Amanda. Amanda. Yeah, all it says is that he had a nasty um, tweet that, it, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go across the way, uh -huh. see you here in just a couple minutes. But I'll leave this on because I know y'all are curious about what's happening behind the scenes. No one your fault. That's not your fault. Okay, how's everyone Wait. doing over here? You know, Amanda, we're, we're, we're going to have to put that Patrick story in there somewhere. Bump in All right, guys. In Texas are I think I've given about. you a good idea of the behind the scenes. We're going to go ahead and sign off for now. And I'll get, I see a bunch of comments here, and I can't wait to read them all. And I'll make sure to respond tonight. Okay. Thanks yeah, for watching, everyone. And uh, let's pray for Orlando and for all of our friends and neighbors. Good night.